this first video in the Design Spark PCB tutorials, we'll be looking at how to start a new project and also looking at the user interface of Design Spark PCB. Welcome to Design Spark PCB. This is the first video of this tutorial series and we will be looking at the navigational interface of Design Spark PCB and showing you how to make a new project. So as you can see on your screen now, this is what we'll be making in the tutorial series, a PCB but firstly a schematic. As you can see, a project format looks like this. You have a schematic design and a PCB, and they are interlinked. So the schematic design is forwarded on to the PCB and any changes are connected. If we go back to our PCB window, you'll see the interface on the left-hand side. At the top, you have add component, add pad, these are just tools used to make your PCB design. Add in tracks, add in text, adding a board, and adding shapes. There are also functions such as auto root all nets, so that you don't have to root them yourself, which is a very handy tool. Along the top, we have new design, your usual save options. We have a book right here, which is the libraries tab. Once clicked, this will allow you to look at all of the components that are stored in the library of Design Spark and many other features from other manufacturers as well. We have a design technology tab, which allows you to set colors and styles for your design. This is all, you can edit all of this. We have grids, which allows you to modify the grid you're working in and the step size when you are placing components and drawing tracks. On the right hand side here we have an interaction panel which if it is, if it is not on your screen you can access it by clicking view and interaction bar. This allows you to look at your layers, go to components or add components with ease. I'm now going to show you how to start your new project in Design Spot PCB. Firstly, if you click File, New, and Project, because we don't want individual files, we want a whole new project. And you can name your project. And I'm going to store it. My first project, Design Spark. Okay, so here you have a blank canvas. You will now need to add a schematic design. And make sure that this is ticked as you want to add it to your open project. And you can just save this as your first schematic design. Call it SCH. And here you have your schematic window. If we go back to our project page, you'll see schematic is added to the project. And we can go to File, New, and now PCB Design, which will be added to our open project. I'm going to save this and call it PCB. You can call it whatever you like. And now it will guide you through the PCB wizard. This can be changed later on, but for now, I'm just going to use millimeters with a precision of two. And I'm going to use the default technology for the style. I'm going to select a two layer board. You can select as many layers as you like from two to 14. But I will select two and click next. And here you can define the size of your board. You can have a circle board. I'm going to leave it at the standard measurement for now. This can be edited later on. Okay, and if you click finish, you'll see this is your board. And whatever you create in your schematic will then be forwarded onto your PCB.